questions. Okay, so I will just uh, go through a couple of slides very quickly about who we are, why we are here today, then I'll update you on the EU MIV regulation, how to become MIV ready, and a couple of words about our Greek plans. So, uh, uh, very, uh, in a few words, uh, we are a, a global, independent, accredited verification body of greenhouse gas emissions for the transport sector, aviation, airports, and shipping. Uh, we are fully focused on verification of CO2 emission for the transport sector. That's all we do. We don't do anything else. So we are totally independent with no interest in the transport sector, uh, which is a, a requirement of the, uh, actually, the UMRB regulation. Um, we are accredited by the United Kingdom Accreditation Service to the standard, to the ISO 1465 standard, which is a standard that was uh, uh, selected for the accreditation of verifiers under the EU MRV regulation. Uh, we have uh, embarked into the accreditation process uh, for shipping recently, and we expect to be accredited early January uh, 2017. And we offer a range of service related to the EU MRV, starting with the uh, EU MRV, obviously verification services, uh, pre-verification gap analysis, uh, etc. So we're talking about MRV, but what is MRV? What does MRV stand for? Um, is it the latest model of the uh, Honda car? No, this is CRV. So, uh, is it a multi role vessel? It could be, but uh, not in this case. Uh, MRV stands for monitoring, reporting, and verification of fuel consumption, pseudo emission, and transport work of ships. It's a system, it's an MRV system. And be happy, it's not an MRV S system, S for surrendering. It's only an, a, a system to collect and publish for comparison and statistical, statistical purposes uh, data on fuel, CO2 emission, and energy efficiency of ships. It's a system that was designed by the European Commission uh, for, uh, for ships. And uh, I'm saying you should be happy because uh, they could have added S for the offsetting of the emissions. Uh, for the moment, MRV is only morning reporting and verification with no surrendering, no offsetting of the emission. Which ships are concerned by the EU MRV regulation? Any ship that exceeds 5,000 gross tonnage, regardless of flag or country of ownership, calling at an EU port from the 1st of January 2018 and carrying cargo or passengers for commercial purposes. Any ship that fulfills these four conditions is concerned by the UMRV regulation. Uh, who is the accountable entity? In the UMRV, the accountable entity is the ship. It's the ship itself. Every ship fulfilling the previous condition must develop its own monitoring plan and have it assessed by an, by an independent verifier, must monitor and report its uh, emission and activity data starting from the 1st of January 2018, must have its emission report independently verified before it's submitted to commission and flag state, and most importantly, carry on board a document of compliance, which is like a license to operate, license to trade, uh, from uh, June 2019. Also, every single ship is individually accountable, according to the regulation. So which voyages must be reported? We have an illustration on the, on the screen. We have a ship, assume it's a container ship, uh, it loads in Shanghai, loads cargo in Shanghai, then it stops in Singapore to load additional cargo. Then it goes through the Suez Canal, stops in Suez for bunkering, and then goes to Le Havre for unloading part of the cargo, and then terminates in Gothenburg to unload the remaining part of the cargo. So, question is, which voyage must be reported? You have, the, have to be aware first that a, a voyage is a journey between two ports of call. And what is a port of call? It's a port uh, where a ship stops to load or unload cargo or to embark and disembark passengers. And a reportable voyage is a voyage where at least one of the ports of call is in the EU. So now let's do a poll, one of those Greek polls. Um, how many voyages uh, do you think should be reported in this case? Uh, is it gonna be one voyage to be reported? under the regulation, two voyages, three voyages, or four voyages. So who votes for one voyage? Who 
Who was for two voyages to be reported? Who was for three voyages to be reported? And who was for four voyages to be reported? More than four. Or more than four? OK, the answer is uh, two voyages. A port of call is a port to load or load cargo. So the only ports of call are Shanghai, Singapore, Le Havre, and Gothenburg. But a, a voyage is between two ports of call. So it could be Shanghai, Singapore, Singapore, Le Havre, and Le Havre, Gothenburg, three voyages. But a reportable voyage is where at least one of the e ports is in the EU. So the two uh, voyages to be reported is Singapore to Le Havre and Le Havre to Gothenburg, only two voyages to be reported. Uh, what data may be monitored for each voyage? Fuel consumption at sea, fuel consumption at berth, which must be monitored separately when the ship is at berth within ports, the time at sea, the distance sailed, the cargo on board, the transport work, which is the cargo on board multiplied by the distance sailed, and the energy efficiency parameters. There's a couple of energy efficiency parameters like CO2 per transport work per distance cell, fuel consumption per transport work or distance cell. Uh, to monitor the fuel consumption, there are four available monitoring methodologies available. I won't go through the details, but it's called ABCD. Basically, use a bunker delivery nodes, periodic stock take of fuel tanks, uh, fuel tank monitoring on board, or method C, uh, the use of fuel flow meters, and method D, direct CO2 emission measurement. And CO2, once you get the fuel consumption, very easy to get to the CO2 emission, just multiply by the emission factor. <laughs> the UMRV process is a, is a process. MRV starts in 2017 with the submission of the monitoring plan by the end of August 2017 to a verifier for assessment. Then start monitoring the uh, CO2 emission, fuel consumption, and transport work from 1st of January 2018. Then prepare an emission report early 2019, have this emission report verified before it's submitted to the flag state and the commission. And last but not least, carry on board the document of compliance on board the sh every ship, calling it a new port uh, from June 2019. That's the MRV process. Um, the MRV regulation is a uh, consists in several parts. We have the regulation itself, the EU regulation 2015-757, which came into force last year in July 2015, which sets the framework of the regulation and most of the technical details, but there's an additional regulation called the Delegated and Implementing Acts that are being drafted by the European Commission at uh, subgroups of experts uh, um, under the umbrella of the uh, European Sustainable Shipping Forum. And Very Favia is a member of, this, uh, of one of these subgroups responsible for defining the, further defining the technical rules of the implementation of the regulation. So things are going on uh, fine. We expect the draft acts to be published uh, within a couple of months, then it will go through uh, public consultation and uh, the, draft, the acts will come into force at the end of the year. Uh, the monitoring plan template has already been drafted. Uh, the uh, methodology for the determination of cargo carried on board other types of ship have al also been uh, defined and the rules for the verification and of verifiers have also been defined. So we are making really good progress. Now, how to become MIV ready? Um, even though the deadline, the first deadline is next year in, uh, in August, uh, even though the delegated implementing acts are still being drafted by the Commission, uh, there is enough information today, enough technical rules available to be able to start MRV. You can actually start MRV tomorrow, it's possible. 95% plus of the technical rules have been, have been defined, either formally or informally. So it's possible to start tomorrow. What can you do? Can, do, um, can prepare a monitoring plan? Monitoring plan uh, re, uh, uh, template has been drafted, so it's available. Two minutes. You can draft a monitoring plan. You can already have it assessed by a verifier. You can already do a pre-verification of uh, an emission report. You can already prepare an emission report. That's what we call pre-verification gap analysis in 2016. And then 2016, the real thing, the final monitoring plan, the assessment, uh, 2018, the mo monitoring period, and 2019, the reporting season. Uh, there are many advantages of uh, gap analysis for shipping companies, preparing, preparing communication, marketing advantage, uh, identification of corrective actions, etc. Um, so, 
a couple of words on the, on the, on the verification. What is the verification? It's a, it's a three-way process. It's a three-way conformity check. We check that uh, the monitoring plan is a true reflection of the company's procedures. Uh, we check that the company's procedures and the monitoring plan are conformed to the regulation. That's, that's the, the role of the verifier, to check the conformity between monitoring plan, regulation, and existing company procedures. Uh, and at the end of the, of the process, you can be considered to be, shipping companies can be considered to be MRV ready, which uh, uh, may bring some uh, uh, marketing and communication competitive advantages. Uh, just a few seconds about our plan. Uh, we were a French company accredited in the UK by the United Kingdom Accredited Service, but we, we've just, uh, today we're announcing the uh, establishment of uh, our Greek entity called Verifier Shipping Hellas Limited. It's based here, it's our, it's our regional headquarters, uh, with uh, my colleague Nicolas Theodoro, who is the new managing director of the company here for Cyprus and, uh, and, and, and Greece. And we are very happy to become a Greek company. So, as a conclusion, um, the EU regulation came into force. It was voted at Parliament. It entered into force. It was published in the Office Journal of the European Union. It's here. It's a regulation. It's here to stay. So, there's no need to fight against it anymore. Uh, better embrace it and get ready for it. Um, and remember that uh, we are the V of MRV, so uh, we're here and uh, available to, to work with the shipping companies and ship owners uh, to make this happen. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.